So this is an airplane, I guess. Will it really fly? Hey, Prince, sorry for the wait. You guys left before me and I still got here first? Slow pokes. I got here before all of you, actually. Wait, you got caught? No, I was searching the cells and the door locked closed behind me. Sheesh. Talk about deja vu. <sighs> Thanks. So, let me get this ready. All right, let's go now! Good. We're surrounded! Because you gave us away with your yelling! Shut up! Just get in! Prince! Hold on tight, everyone! No heed to our demand of surrender. Defiant to the bitter end. Leave us with no choice at all. Load the gun. Target their front line. Thank you for trusting your back to an enemy, General. Father! Well, well. Looks like someone is trying to play hero. Supreme Commander! Someone's there! It's Rosetta! What is she? Abort! Cease fire now! It's too late! We can't stop it from firing now! <clears throat> It's 
not over yet. We need to keep the diversion going. Beelzebub and the others should be en route to Garam as we speak. Understood. Our sensors are picking up something. Its thermal signature it matches that of our own high-speed plane. The resistance must have hijacked it. Quick! Turn this thing around! We're going to swat this fly! We got spotted. They'll shoot us full of holes in no time. Let's lose altitude, Prince. single plane? Here, I'll blow them out of the sky. You can't. The cannon needs time to reload. Ready the cannon. I don't care if it's not at max power yet. Just kill that fiend! Please, don't get hit! Bad news. Massive attack incoming. Brace yourself! Cannon. Fire! This is bad. If that hits us, it's game over. supposed to get off this contraption without a plane? It's a whole flying fortress. Surely there's some escape pods. Basically. We'll figure it all out later, don't worry. So, let's get wrecking! Uh, hey! What are you doing? I'll handle this traitor myself. I trust you have no objection. I wasn't sure you'd make it. You getting the jitters now? Do I look scared? Guess not. Glad that's clear. Red! Don't bother, Ram. But I made a promise to Rosetta! He's not gonna have a change of heart. Gotta strike him down. It seems you understand me well. But then again, you can be mine. I don't need to just to figure out something that obvious. Not that I've ever been able to read what's in your heart. What? Oh, of course. It must be because I lost it long ago. Nothing matters to me anymore. Nothing except my country forest land. And I swear... I will exterminate any threat, be it Sandland or Fiend Kind! Fiend Prince, why do you lend these humans your strength? Do you take vengeance for your kin? Or has that old legend so rubbed off on you that you've discovered a sense of justice? Don't make me sick! You're the only one pretending to be on the side of justice. Pretending? An amoral beam thought who cannot even conceive of the greater good. 
dares to reproach me? Shut up! Fancy words don't make you better than me! Prince, if you don't understand what he's saying, you're kind of proving his point. I can't even read this guy's mind! Why would his words make any more sense? First eyes are surprisingly swift and responsive. We're going to have to predict its trajectory. It's clear that demons are every bit as dangerous as Muniel has cautioned. Forget Muniel! It's your daughter who you should be listening to! She betrayed me. Trust my brother. Why should I heed the word of a traitor? You're the one who pushed them away! No going back now! Enough of this! Surrender at once! What nonsense! If I gave up now, the last ten years would have been for nothing! Lose sight of what matters. You I have already lost half of my body to battle. And ruined any trust my beloved king ever had in me. All for foreign. It is far too late for me to change course now. Come on, you can fly? It's really fast. I don't see how we could possibly stop it. When he starts flying. You've got to boost away from him to safety! Why? I turned my heart to stone, and shattered it to pieces, all for my country! How cruel, that now even my body will be smashed apart by this accursed fiend! No, perhaps losing everything is exactly what I deserve. Can you stop with the pity party? Fred, how exactly do you think we even made it this far? It was Rosetta. She told us where the airplane was. So she betrayed military secrets to the enemy. She was deeply conflicted over it. But the reason she ultimately did it was to stop you. She wanted to save you from the self-destructive spiral. That's what you call standing in the way of Garum's cannon to protect the enemy. If that's not treachery, what is? It was you she wanted to protect, not the royal army. She was trying to save your soul. She staked her life on it. You're saying she... That's what I choose to believe, at least. I can't claim to truly know the heart of another person. Reading minds is fiend's territory, after all. I know that Rosetta has so much she wants to tell you. But after all I've done, how can I possibly face her now? How about... as her father? Aren't there things you want to tell your father too, Prince? <laughs> Shut up! Let's go beat that angel and get this over with. Munio is in the control room. Why are you ratting him out? Isn't that treachery? You made me curious to see what it feels like. Surely a fiend is in no position to judge me for that. Behold! Isn't the world the Divine One created simply beautiful? Or rather, it was, until the humans defiled it! Deceived by you nasty demons, they fell further and further from grace. It is us angels' duty to bring the humans back to the light and vanquish the demons responsible for...
Hey, I'm in the middle of a speech here. Your fault for getting so wrapped up in spouting garbage. I shouldn't have expected any better from a fiend. Lucifer was exactly the same. He wouldn't listen to a single word. Just tore off my beautiful wings as I begged him not to. I'm not surprised a rotten apple like you hasn't fallen far from the tree. Like I care. Enough talking. Let's rumble. You want to fight? You've got one. Let's settle this with just our fist. Time to see which one of us is stronger once and for all. <clears throat> you impudent brat. I'll teach you just how much stronger angels are than fiends! To make you and yours face divine judgment, as the Lord wills! The only judgment here will be my fist in your face! I hate you! Your entire race makes my skin crawl! Just hand over the urn of sealing and go back to the celestial realm, I'll forgive you. You... you forgive me? I'm an angel. It can't end like this. I just need more power. I hate to admit it, Beelzebub, but you are indeed strong. Thing is... Stronger! What? what? What's happening? The, the Aquanium energy! It's being rapidly depleted! The Aquanium furnace malfunctioning? I can't tell, but at this rate, we'll lose control of Garum! in a fight is not fair. Yells, we need to use bots. We can't beat him if you keep clinging to your pride.
I can knock your block off! doing is right? But of course, the divine one is perfect, and as his child, so am I. Obviously, it is not even possible for me to do wrong. Biel's might claim he's bad to the bone, but your self-righteousness is truly evil. How oh, tedious. I should not expect a foolish human like you to understand. It's up to me. Rat with wings. <laughs> Said your prayers yet? No. <laughs> I'm Oh. Like, I'd let an angel be more evil than a Isn't that? There were two urns. Ah! King Lucifer's inside of it! We're talking about my dad here. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> this is no time for laughter. Garum's gaining altitude. So, what do we do? Get to the control room. Take back control of the ship! Okay, you handle that. Thief and I will look for a good escape room. Escape at once, Princess. Was everything I believed in wrong all along? Well, um, I personally think you were very misguided. <sighs> it's no use! The whole place is falling apart before our eyes! We're ascending too fast now! No use! I've lost all control over it! 
The Aquanium's gonna explode any moment now! Abandon ship! There's nothing else we can do! Use the escape pods by the command center! Go on, now! Supreme Commander! We've been waiting! What? He's... It's fine. Let every one of them onto an escape pod. Yes, sir. But, Commander, the pod only fits five. Uh, there's six of us. Can't we all fit if we squeeze in? Uh, sorry, ma'am, but that's a safety hazard. It, it could put you all in danger. It's fine. I'll stay. Don't worry, I'm a fiend. I'm afraid I can't allow that. If anyone should stay, it's me. I started this. I'll stay and see it through to the end. Quit brooding and get in the pot! The elf! What? I said I'll survive. Don't trust the word of a fiend. I do. More than anything. As it bugs me, I'll save that angel twerp too. I'm not gonna lie, that hurt. I can barely even walk. Still alive, huh? Here, stand up. I. <coughs> Shoot. I still don't have my strength back. You need a hand? Why are you here? We made it this far together. Why would we separate now? I second that. I mean, I appreciate it. But how are we gonna get down? You can take us. Can't you just fly us all down there? I can't fly! What? But you're a fiend! Can't they all fly? You're a half-fiend, can you fly? Oh, then what do we do? Heck if I know. Wait! Luckily, I've got just the thing. Oh, I see! They're the floaty tablets I got from the Peachy. Okay, everyone hold out your hands. Once you swallow these, you'll be able to float for 10 seconds. So make sure to take them right before you're about to go splat. I'm not sure this will be as easy as you make it sound. Better than staying on until we reach space or explode, right? Um, okay. Then I... I'll go first! This is going to take a miracle. But it's our only option. Thief, your turn. Oh, me? Well, I... Oh, hurry up! <laughs> Wait. Guess that bratty angel can't fly without his wings, huh? <sighs> Here we go! <clears throat> One floaty tablet left? What do I do? Oh, hold on. He can't swallow one while he's knocked out. Well, okay. Guess I gotta take it and make this work somehow.
that? Were you able to get out of the jar on your own? No. As luck would have it, the urn smashed against a rock. Lucky for me, too. You saved me from a rough landing. Oh, that was me. Big sis? Big sister to you. Ow! <laughs> hey! Everyone! Prince! Y you had us worried you were up there for so long! You all made it safely. I told you the tablets would work. <laughs> Those things didn't help us at all. Getting the timing right is impossible. We all chickened out and took the tablets too soon. So they wore off when we were still high up. But before we crashed, some strange power saved us. It looks like your family actually came to our rescue. Ah, saved me too. You must be... My mom? But how? I thought Mooney had killed you. <laughs> there were two urns of sealing. I was in the other. You really think some second-rate angel could have defeated me without one of those? Oh, I see. And your father? My father? He's fine. Thank goodness. So this is your daughter, Lilith? Yes. Uh, pleased to meet you, Grandpa. I'm Anne, sir. Grandpa? Never refer to me by this undignified form of address again. I am Lucifer, the King of Demons. Uh, your Majesty! Queen Lilith and Princess Anne, I deeply regret what I did ten years ago. I was wrong about fiends and harmed you and many others in my ignorance. The people of our nation are the ones who deserve an apology. You should be saying this to them, not me. As you say, Your Majesty, I will accept any punishment for my crimes, be it prison or death, without complaint. Hmm. <laughs> any punishment? In that case, how about I wipe Forest Land off the map in five seconds flat? Eh? He's joking, Bread. But mend your warmongering ways. Use your talents for the pursuit of peace. Uh, oh. Thank you, Your Majesty. Peace. The very concept makes me feel ill. Um, King Lucifer, what shall we do with the angel? <sighs> I will inform the archangels and have them come pick him up. He'll be in for it then. <laughs> Serves him right. Guys, you see this? It's raining! W well, I'll be. It's the Aquanium at work. It took 30 years, but it's being used as the Peachy intended. Finally. By the way, human, what was your name again? Oh. Uh, are you asking me? It's Rao, sir. Well, Rao, you've done well in the role of Beelzebub and Thief's leader. You're a credit to your species. If you like, we have a place for you at Demon Village. Thank you, I'm honored. But I don't intend to turn in my sheriff's badge quite yet. After all this, you'll return to being a humble sheriff? I like you, Rao. Here, have a treasure chest. Huh. Dad! I was wondering if I can play games for two hours a day now. Maybe? Don't I push your luck. Practicing your flying would be a far better use of your time. Right!
And so rain fell on Sandland for the first time in decades, bringing with it many changes. In Forestland, the people welcome the return of King Jam. Sandland and Forestland signed an official peace treaty with each other. Normalizing relations and finally putting an end to their long war. King Jam charged Bread and Rosetta with repairing the rift between humans and demons to prevent further misunderstandings. As for Munir, back in the celestial world, uh, 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 this is not fair to buy one. Why do I have to sweep the storehouse for a thousand years? Beelzebub and his friends, on the other hand... <laughs> oh man, I couldn't ask for a smoother ride! Prince, surely it has to be my turn to drive by now! What? No! You're an awful driver! You guys never change, honestly. If it isn't Anne... Well, what you doing around here then? Just passing through. I can go wherever I like now. I gotta see the world to become a world-class mechanic. How about you? I'm headed off with the old man here to bring presents to the Peachy. Well now, that sounds like fun. By the way, what's with that bot? Rao got it from Dad and it's brand new! Can you even believe it? No, I mean... What's wrong with it? Nothing. Oh? <laughs> hey, something smells funny. Prince, there's smoke coming from the engine. Ah! What'd you do, thief? How's it my fault? Yup. Saw this coming. What would you do without me? Okay, pull over. Let me fix it. in bad shape. Gonna need to take it to the garage in Spino to get it fixed up. Yeah! Spino is our next stop! Hmm. Well, I'll come with you. What about seeing the world? Oh. It's not like I'm in a hurry. Pretty sure hanging around you guys will give my skills a better workout than seeing the world could. Okay. Then it's settled! It's road trip time!